Greetings, my name is Dr. Melissa Peoples. I'm in my first year as principal here. I appointed last year in July of 2023. Um, I've been in the district for seven years. I've served in this at this same school as the assistant principal. Uh, after that, I went over to the high school as the curriculum specialist. And again, as I told my teachers, faculty and staff and community, that it feels like I'm coming back home because I'm back here now as the principal. Um, thus far, I've thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed my experience as the principal here at St. Matthew's K-8. I've built relationships with the students, faculty and staff, parents, and the community. I'm extremely proud of the performance that my students are making. Um, as you have noticed when you all went and visit all the classrooms, most of the students and our teachers were referencing iReady. We were working on the iReady math earlier today, and so this is just an extension of that. This first grade class has been working with tens and ones, adding tens and ones and subtraction tens and ones. They're enjoying the iReady reading and math. We are writing sentences. We are focusing on the beginning and ending of sentences and writing small stories. iReady is a program that we uh, have here in the district. This is our first year with the program. And what it does, it assesses our students in the areas of reading and math. And that gives us an indication as to how our students will perform on state testing in May. And from the data walls that you saw in the classroom, it is evident that this uh, program is giving us just what we need uh, where we're seeing and noticing that growth um, in our students. Here at St. Matthew's K-8, we're very family oriented. Um, we work together, we help each other out. We have so many um, additional resources to support our students. Um, those resources range from having a literacy coach, reading interventionists, um, math interventionists, our counselors, but again, we have um, mental health counselors in place as well, as well for social emotional support. So again, it's just a camaraderie of um, resources that we have to provide to the students, and not only to the students, but as well as to the faculty and staff. And this year, I've had the honor of being chosen as the Calhoun County Teach District Teacher of the Year. I've previously served as Teacher of the Year in the school and it is an honor. I've been teaching for 40 years and I have always taught first grade and I enjoy seeing my students at the beginning of the year starting as little buds and at the end of the year they become flowers. Here within the district, we also offer um, have early release every Tuesday. During that time frame, it allows our teachers to participate in professional development opportunities so that they can continue to grow professionally in their particular areas. And some of those can range from teachers being the trainers, teaching others, um, co-teaching, presenting, analyzing data, um, just whatever uh, we see that the need is. It, and the bottom line is we do what's in the best interest of our students. Whatever it takes to move our students to the next level, that's what our main focus and our main goal and our main priority here is at St. Matthew's K-8. So again, we are just grateful at the gains um, and the growth that we are making. And we're excited about where we're going to go forward um, in the future. Um, here at St. Matthew's K-8, um, our theme for this year was to build an academic, building a foundation for academic success. And I can truly say throughout some challenges and some stumbling blocks, um, but we are still on ground and on track to continue to build this foundation to help move our students to the next level.